Well, I'm a silly goose for that. I completely neglected to check their hours and it appears the YMCA is closed today here in San Luis, o what is it? San Luis Obispo, that's, there it is. On the bright side, looks like the sun is coming back out after some rain this morning and we don't really need a shower anyways, right? Oh, and I'm just realizing somehow that the locations we were gonna go to in San Simeon, Big Sur area are closed. So that's good. We're currently down here in the Pismo Beach, San Luis Obispo area, and I was only planning on driving an hour or two north up the coast to San Simeon, Big Sur area, which tons and tons of people, you guys included, have recommended I visit on this trip probably because of the crazy views from the incredible mountains right there on the Pacific coastline. Unfortunately, it appears that all of the crazy rain this past year has washed out the two main dirt roads that go off into the mountains and provide access to the trails that we would be driving to a campsite overlooking the ocean. So it doesn't really look like we're headed up to Big Sur anymore. And the next spot on the list I had put together of places to hit in California is Yosemite National Park. Pretty famous place. And we have got, oh, guess we've got road closures. And we've got four hours, 48 minutes, 250 miles to go till we get to our camp spot. First fuel stop, about halfway through the journey, two and a half hours in, two and a half hours to go. Get this puppy fueled up and keep on trucking. Kind of a little hungry, so I think we're gonna try to find a little parking lot or something to chef up a little burrito action. And this is not gonna be your average burrito. I am absolutely strapped with Trader Joe's burritos here and we've got ourselves a cheeseburger burrito. These things, not the cheeseburger ones specifically, but the pre-made burritos have been a lifesaver over the past couple weeks. Super easy for four bucks. You toss it in a pan, flip it over a couple times, and in a matter of five, ten minutes you got yourself a nice meal. We're talking seasoned beef crumble with cheddar cheese, onions, tomatoes, and dill pickle relish. Pretty good. And I'm not even an onion or relish guy, but. All right, let's get this show back on the road. folks after driving through a whole bunch of open flat farmland we've made our way off the main road and we officially have one hour remaining and a whopping 40 miles to go which is kind of surprising it's going to take an hour to go 40 miles but i can totally see why because we're making our way through some crazy switchbacks down through some valleys and up and over these mountains right now pretty gnarly road with no guardrails protecting us from going over the edge over here, which appears to be a long ways down. So gonna pay attention driving the big old scrapyard truck here. Passing through a little town, historic town of Coulterville. Cute little place here. Still got 45 minutes to go. 
but nice to know that there's some degree of civilization here. General store. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what all this stuff is. Some residencies. Alrighty, folks. It appears we are just about here. Two minutes away or so. There's some snow lingering. Hodge Don Meadow. That's where we're headed. A little spooky out here. I haven't seen anyone in an hour. <laughs> Granted, it is a Sunday night at almost midnight. So that's understandable. But yeah, I wonder if we're going to see anyone here at this camp or if it's just going to be us. I do see lights over there. Probably a bathroom. This is probably as good a spot as any. It is dead silent here. It's after midnight now, so I'm gonna settle in, try to get as much sleep as I can, but also try to get up early because there's a lot to see and do here. Oh, good morning, people. Let's check out what we got here. Not a whole lot going on out here. These trees are beautiful. Well, I'm having way too much fun looking at trees right now. Just been looking at trees and dirt and snow for like half an hour. This campground is beautiful. I know it's just trees and it's gonna be really hard to capture the significance of them on camera, but this big redwood, I don't know, it might be a redwood. This guy right here is huge. And then the one behind me is even crazier right here. I, I don't know, this thing's gotta be like hundreds of feet tall. It's insane. <laughs> And look at this bark. I've never seen bark like this. Like, it's got texture to it. Well, we gotta cook breakfast and get on over to the actual national park itself. Get out of the campground here. Go see some real stuff. What are you doing? No, no. <laughs> Dude, no. This is not for you. No. Hey, what are you doing back up here? <laughs> what are you doing? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's all right. You can have on top of the strawberry. All right, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Just spectacular. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even look real. 
just an absolutely spectacular view here. I am in awe right now. I finally understand why everyone is like, Yosemite, Yosemite, because this is amazing to see in person. Just incredible. I'm just in awe right now. This place is incredible. I finally, I can finally appreciate the fact that the photos and videos of this place just do not do it justice. It is one of those things you definitely have to see in person to fully appreciate, but hopefully some of these videos are helping illustrate just how spectacular this place is. Oh my gosh. Well, I've sort of been dinking around today, so it's already past three o'clock. I think it's like 3.30, 3.45 now. So I'm thinking we make today a shorter explorative day down on the valley floor where things are flat. And then tomorrow, I think we attack a really cool high elevation hike, the Upper Falls hike, which I'm now looking up at right now. Holy smokes, that is high. Wow, that is incredible. I'm glad I wore this extra jacket. We're not even under the falls. We're just getting closer and it's just dropped like at least 10, 20 degrees from this cold water coming down. Oh boy, here we are. Oh my gosh. What do you say we hike in there on the rocks and get a real close view? Yeah, it's two lenses. Uh huh. So. I have those, uh, you know, very cool video on YouTube, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Well, I just got completely drenched and soaked from head to toe right now. <laughs> Might have compromised the microphone system. I don't know, but <laughs> that was definitely worth it. What an experience. Fun fact about Yosemite Falls. It is one of the tallest, if not the tallest waterfall in all of North of America at almost 2,500 feet of total drop. views are just ridiculously cool. Ridiculous. We 
Look at that. They've got these little tent cabin things here. It's pretty cool. We're making our way over to Mirror Lake Trail. I think we should be about a mile and a half from Mirror Lake itself, so I think we'll be able to get there before the sun goes down. Looks like there's a campground right over here as well, Upper Pines Campground, but it looks it looks pretty packed over there, so we'll worry about that after Mirror Lake. Look at these views. Crazy. I had I known this was gonna be an entirely paved road up to Mirror Lake, I probably would have ridden my bicycle, but you live and you learn, right? I will say this little river here is absolutely beautiful. Been loving taking a couple little pullovers to admire it. And I think it's really cool that this river flowing through Yosemite has sandy beaches, much like the coast of California, but very different, of course. You got sandy beaches, water, and incredible mountains all in one place. It's just spectacular. This is probably why they call it Mirror Lake. Get a nice mirror effect of the mountains. But I'm pretty sure this isn't the whole thing. I think we gotta keep going a little further. I'm sure the camera is doing no justice, but these mountain ranges are just towering. And here we have Mirror Lake. Look at that. That's why they call it a mirror. Uh, as you get closer, you can get more of a mirror effect, but it's a little ripply right now, so. We're not getting the best reflection of that mountain, but still really cool. Just got to move around a little bit and you can get different perspectives.
Hey, excuse me. Couldn't help but notice that your fire is struggling a little bit. Can can I offer you some fatwood? Oh, that would be it's, great. It's um, it's kindling soaked in. In the center, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, it's soaked in. I have to bring my axe. Oh I'm no! Working with whatever I can. <laughs> yeah. Oh great. I don't I don't know if it'll help, but hopefully I'll try. Yeah, but maybe. Just, I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Maybe. It could just be like wet wood. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's probably like wet because I was here like for two days and it was very wet the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. best yeah, of luck. Try. Thank you so much. Of course. Oh yeah, baby. Broccoli, a brewski, and what else? Then a burrito. By the fire. Doesn't get much better, man. I was super lucky to find a camp spot here in Yosemite Valley, as opposed to driving like quite literally 50 to 60 minutes back to where we were last night, which is the only legal alternative. So we lucked out with the camp spot and I was able to grab a whole extra box of firewood at the general store. Surprisingly, it was only like nine bucks. I thought for sure, I'd have to sell one of my kidneys to buy anything here in the valley, but thankfully that wasn't the case. Oh, no way. Let's go. The fat wood worked. She got her fire going. Woo! Good morning, people. It is 9 a.m. here in Yosemite Valley and it's about 34 degrees outside 62 degrees inside for all you celsius folks that's one degree outside and 17 degrees inside and it has quite literally just before i started filming it has just gotten a light out here in the valley itself i woke up at 8 and 8 30 and it was still quite dark down here in the valley you could just see the top ridge of the mountains lighting up as the sun was rising. And I kid you not, 30 seconds before I started recording, the sun popped up right over this ridge. And it was like someone flipped a light switch because it just became a whole lot brighter down here. Alrighty, people, let's do this thing. <laughs> We've got about two liters of water in the bladder, in the backpack here, cliff bar, and about six hours of daylight left to hike nearly 3,300 feet of elevation and seven miles up into the mountains here to Upper Yosemite Falls. Should be about three and a half miles up, three and a half miles down. All Trails says this is gonna take about five and a half hours, so we should have just enough daylight to pack this in. I'm super excited, let's get to it. You're up in the upper falls? Yeah. Looks like we've got quite a few switchbacks to go, huh? Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> but that. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at the people up there, right at the very top. 
That's where we're there? going? Yeah, up to the top there. You see those people walking across? Yeah. We're way up there. At some stage, we're going to be just doing stairs, man. Like up. <laughs> I, I would imagine this. Is he going on the beach? Or the beach? Yeah, the beach. Yeah. In uh, La Jolla? My, yeah, my friend lives in La Jolla. action <sighs> quick little check-in Payne Nathan and I are about 16 feet 1600 feet up two miles in we got another 1600 feet to go 1.5 miles to the top looks like it should be pretty gorgeous up there let's get it boys Man, I swear my feet are getting heavier every step. <sighs> Only a thousand feet left to go. Yosemite Falls Overlook. What time is it? 2.55. Oh, we did so, two hours, dude. Two hours? Two hours up. Dang, dude. We did pretty good. Yeah, where is this thing? Lead the way. I follow you on Instagram. Oh, no way, dude. Stuff, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, nice to see you, man. Yeah, what's your name? Samuel. Samuel, Jake. Name? Jake. Jake, okay. Good to meet you, dude. Yeah, I just I just jumped in the, the waterfall down there. You jumped in the pool? Yeah, just down there. How was it? Uh, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Right on, man. Where are you out here from? Uh, I'm, originally, I'm from the Czech Republic, from Europe. But I've been going to high school for the last couple of years. Like, kind of like an exchange student in the workshop. Yeah, good to meet you. Oh, you too. Dang. We are going right into the falls right now. Oh my gosh, this is so steep. Each one of these stairs is like over a foot drop. And there's, I don't know if it's raining or if that's just from the falls, but some water coming down on us right now for sure. Wow. Looks like it keeps going down this way. Oh yeah, it does. This is getting crazy right here. Hey. Hey, you can go first. You sure? Yep. Thank you. Maybe as <laughs> as possible. Thank you. Made it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is nutty. Look at this mist coming up. Crazy. Dude, what? That view is insane. Snack time. <laughs> oh, dude. You came strapped. All right, snack time's over. Payne, Nathan, and I are headed back down. We'll see you at the bottom.
boys are flying. Three hours, 20 moving. Four hours, 22 minutes for total time. Dang. Let's go, boys. Yeah. We're lit. We did it. Knees, knees uh, have left the chat. Knees and ankles have <laughs> left the chat. But huge shout out to Payne and Nathan for letting me tag along, helping me power through that sucker because that was a, that was a journey. Shout out to Jake for uh, driving from Boston. Yeah. <laughs> en route to Alaska. Yes, sir. <laughs> that <shit is> crazy. <laughs> Boys, you're gonna go find some food. Yes, yeah. sir. Where'd you find the food, sir? No. Right over there. Right over there? <laughs> All right. Oh. I'm delirious. Like, you open your eyes. <laughs> Restaurant. We're in business, baby. Yeah. Yes, sir. Boys are eating good. It's gonna be a real satisfying meal. Just had a solid meal. There are the boys. We're about to cruise around the park, try to find a little meadow to hang out and catch the sunset and kind of wind down a little after this crazy hike. With ropes, chalk, this and that, like I still... Yeah, even with ropes, the fact that Honold did that free solo. And he came back after and he did it again, like faster. This dude's an animal. Daily mile, gotta respect it. Look at that, he's picking, picking it up. up. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, he's just a little speck. Oh my God. That's insane, dude. Dude, that's full, that's a full on bear. Oh my gosh, he's checking us out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan and Payne just hit the road to their hotel. I'm back in the truck here, getting things warming up. It was definitely an eye-opening experience to how much there is at this national park. Almost feels wrong to only be here for two days, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll be back in the future to explore more of what this place has to offer. Lower Falls, Mirror Lake, and of course, Upper Falls today were spectacular experiences and I'm so so thankful that Payne and Nathan were kind enough to allow me to tag along on the Upper Falls hike today because I feel like that's one of those experiences that's that's much more meaningful when you share it with other people so very glad I didn't have to make that trek entirely on my own with that being said we're gonna get back on the road I hope you guys had fun thank you so much for tuning in and huge thank you once again Payne and Nathan for an incredible day here. I look forward to meeting up with you guys in the future. As always, if you have any recommendations of places to go, things to cook, or anything else, let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you guys, and until next time, keep making the most of it.